In this video, we take a look at how to create a beautiful and elegant wedding invitation card like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video. You might want to download and follow the procedure and if you are done and you want to send it to me to check, you can send it to me on Instagram. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. First off, you're going to create a size and this will depend on the size that you want. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to use A5. So Ctrl plus N to create a new document and then we are going to select print and then we are going to select A5. You click on create. Now this is what we are going to do our design on. The first thing we want to do is we want to bring in our background. So we go to file, place embedded and then you can select the background that you want to use. I've included in the description a couple of backgrounds for you so you can try some of them the background that worked for me was this particular one, and i got it from png tree so i'm going to double click on that and then it will open in our work for us now at this point what you do is you're going to take your time to open it to the part that you want so something like that should be fine and then you click or you double click on it now we are going to right click on this rasterize it and then we are going to try to darken this a little bit so to do that ctrl plus l and then it is going to activate the levels now when you take this one from the left to the right it is going to darken it when you take it from the right to the left it is going to open it as you can see so we want to darken it a little bit like this and then this should be fine for us once you're done with this you can then go ahead and click ok now we have a couple of backgrounds or a couple of leaves to throw onto this one. So we'll still go back to file and then place embedded and then we have a couple of things here. The first one you're going to throw it in here is this emerald tropical background. So we are going to place that one right into the document that we are working on. So you press ctrl T and then you are going to transform it and place it at exactly where you want it to be. So in this case. I want it to be at the bottom left of my design now i'm going to double click on that and then i can right click on this rasterize it and then i'm going to decrease the opacity way lower so that it blends with the current background that we are working with so let's take it down to about 14 percent this should be fine we go back to file and then we go to place embedded again and then we have this emerald background again so we are going to open that one as well you can see that we have the one that is png and the one that is jpeg so you can use any one of them so once you bring it here you can position it on top here and then i'm going to make sure that it feels at the very edge of my canvas and then i'm going to decrease that one to the opacity to about 41 okay so 41 looks way better for me so this is going to be my background for the entire work so i can go ahead and select the three here press ctrl g and call it the background now it's time to add in the test in this video we're going to use about three fonts and i'm going to link all of them in the description you can download them for free now to make this tutorial very fast and easy i've already typed in the test so i'm going to just copy and be pasting them like that so the first thing that we're going to copy and paste here is to get out with your family so you copy that you come to photoshop and then you are going to choose your test tool so the first font that we are going to use is railway so we're going to paste together with your families like that and then you make sure that the alignment is centered and then you can press ctrl a and make sure that you center your test as well so you can basically take time to position it as to how you really want it now after this we're going to have the names of the couple that are getting married so the first name will be right here we're going to copy that and then we are going to make a duplicate of this test ctrl plus j and then we drag it down here a little bit double click on it and then we are going to change the font to edwardian script 
all links will be in the description so after that we're going to paste the name here and then we click on ok now you can press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered so something like this should be fine and then you can push it up over here now for this particular test we want to apply some blending options and gradients on it so we are going to right click on this layer go to the blending options and then we are going to select gradient overlay now when you go into the gradient pack by default you're not going to have this so i've already set my gradient so this is the gradient that we are going to use this is the first hex code if you want to copy that and it applies to the very end and this is the middle one so that is the same thing over here so once you're done with this you can then go ahead and click ok and then ok from here now we want to make one more duplicate of this and drag it to the very down here go into our test and then we are going to copy and paste the lady's name now in between these two we want to just put end there so we are going to duplicate together with their families again and then we are going to type in the end you can even decide to change this one also to a wedding script and then you can then decide to open it up like that Control plus a and make sure that it is centered as simple as that now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make another duplicate again so we are going to copy this together with their family remember it is only test that we are adding at this point so we copy this Control plus j drag it down here if you don't want it to confuse you you can just send it to the top here so that it will be following the order that we are creating it so we are going to place it over here and this is where the invitation actually comes in so the next test is humbly request your presence so we copy that and then we are going to paste it over here now for the wedding we are going to use the same font that we use for their name so we make a duplicate here and drag it at the bottom here and then copy and paste it right over there so at this point we want to make the wedding bigger so control plus t and then we can open it up like that control plus a and then we can center it over here and push it up a little bit like that i think it's too big for me so i can close it up control plus a and then center it like that we need a bit of space so i'm going to be pushing this one up i'm going to be pushing all of them up like that in a minute the next test that we're going to add is the date so for the date i decided to go the minimal way very simple and straightforward so we're going to copy that and the font that we are going to use for this will be popping so this is the third font that we are introducing so poppins over here and we are going to use the medium now we are going to paste this one right over here like that and then we don't want the italics and all so we go to the toggle character and then we can deselect the toggle character over here you press ctrl t and then you can open it up a little bit like that ctrl a and then you can make sure that this is centered now we want to stylize the test a little bit or the date a little bit we want to just put a couple of things on top of it and to do that we are going to use a font called vintage the creative so we choose our test tool and then we can left click on any part of this we are going to change the font here to vintage the creative signs and then we are going to delete all of them the actual sign that i used was k over here so you realize that for any test that you type it is going to give you a sign so we are going to open it up like that and then we are going to position it on top here press ctrl a and then you are going to be able to center it like this and then we make a duplicate ctrl plus j you press ctrl t to transform it right click and then you are going to flip it vertically now you can bring this down here and then if easily stylized your date now we can select the three here and then we can push it down a little bit like that you can group that and call it the date next up is the location so we are still going to use poppins and then this time around you are going to use the regular version and once we have that you can come and copy our location copy it over here and then we are going to paste it right over there like that now you take your time to position it and you realize that this one is way spaced out so you can go to the toggle character and then you are going to close it up from here you just make sure that it is not too closed neither it is too open okay so we are going to close it up like that and then press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered 
we can then take our time to position it up over here and then we want to have the same effect the gradient effect on this one as well so all that we need to do is hold alt and then drag the fx from this wording onto the location and voila it is done the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to add the bible verse to it so we are going to make a duplicate of this test so Control j and then we can drag it over here go into our test and then we can select this particular bible quotation select all of this and then we are going to paste it over here now for this one we are going to make sure that it is a bit smaller like that press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then we don't want the gradient on this bible verse so we can right click and then we can go to clear layer style now we can select the whole of these ones go to the toggle character and then make it slanted a bit like that and let's try to use say medium over here for it and let's try to position it up over here and just like that you create a beautiful elegant emerald wedding invitation you can do this for yourself or you can do it for clients remember that all links will be in the description if you want to follow the same procedure or download the resources and then i got you a couple of resources so you can try with the different varieties of the background and send them to me on instagram so that we can then vibe over there and don't forget to group your work so we can group all of this and call it the test okay so right over there yeah so that will be pretty much it for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very elegant thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye